also another really important thing for people to understand is that, um, and I get a lot of flack on this one, but, but happiness is actually a choice. It's not, it's not a result of or an effect of circumstance. Just it like is suffering a is a choice. It is. It is. And it's also an effect. But happiness completely is a choice. I mean, you could kick me in the shins with all your might with your shoes right now and put a big welt in my foot. <laughs> and it is not, it's my choice whether to step out of love, to be, kick you back, to be <laughs> angry, to be hurt, to feel offended, to storm off the set. Those are free will choices. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, most psychology teaches that, that our emotions are pattern behavioral responses to stimuli, but they're not. That's at a very, a very naive and ignorant way of thinking. The truth is, if you want to operate at the penthouse of true highest consciousness, emotions are our free will choices. Mm -hmm. I choose to be happy. You know, I, we all have tragedy, and I don't mean to sound insensitive to people who have traumas in their lives, because I've had them too. You know, I had a son who committed suicide. Oh, my, no. my marriage broke up, and I'm going through a horrible, bitter divorce right now, not from my side, but, you know, things happen, you know, and loved ones pass on and relationships break up. But I still have a choice every minute of every day to say, I choose love. I choose to be kind. I choose to be loving. I choose not to dump my emotions on other people. It doesn't mean, that, here's again where the denial comes in. Some people say, oh, it's all love. It's all good. But they're fuming inside. This is like the, the essence of what this theme is about today. The important thing is to really honor your feelings and connect with them. If you have anger or rage inside, a lot of people don't want to feel it because they think it's bad or they're a bad person. I can't tell you how many people I've worked with who have that belief system. Oh, if I show my anger, I'm a bad person. No, to have anger means you're human, you're alive. Things stimulate or, or prompt people to feel angry. What's unhealthy is to th put that anger on a human being, on a child, on your children, on an animal. No, or take something, it's like, no, but, take it out on somebody. Right, but or. there are healthy ways. It, but it's not the feeling of it. Having it and feeling of it is perfectly normal, perfectly healthy, perfectly rational, perfectly everything. You know, mastery is not about what happens to you. Mastery is about how you handle right. what happens to yes. you. And so I teach people that having those feelings is perfectly normal and fine. And I give people tools to transmute and channel those energies. You know, like Einstein used to say, everything is energy and energy can never be destroyed. That's why when people ask him about, do you believe in reincarnation? He said, well, it's irrelevant whether I say I do or I don't. He said, but what I know from physics is that everything is energy and energy cannot be destroyed. It can only change shape. Mm -hmm. Ergo, it's quite possible. In, a, in other words, what he's saying is when you finish with your body, you don't disappear. No. That energy that's you that's still right. exists. That's right. Yeah, forever. And, and forever. Where does it go? We could argue about that till the cows come home. <laughs> but he said it's proven that it's energy. So it's the same thing with your feelings and emotions. To deny they're there will make you sick. And then what's hap what also happens because we go back to the first statement I made. I know I talk fast, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we follow. We go back to the first statement I made that your soul by design is always trying to transmute or eject from you anything that's not loving. Now, if we know from physics, again, I always use the earth to, to help teach principles so people don't get lost in their heads. We know from the earth, from nature, lava always finds the weak spot in the rock. True or false? True. You know, it's like we see these cartoons with the guy in the leaky boat putting his thumb in the holes. Right. And it'll keep squirting somewhere else. Yeah. That's a great analogy of our emotional body. So when people deny or repress it or say they, this is so, uh, you know, omnipresent in the New Age movement of oh, everything's love and we're all pure and they just have such denial, many people. But that's like the leaky boat. That denial is sticking your finger in all of it. Those non-loving feelings and emotion, because your soul's always pushing them out like the lava, they're going to squirt out on people. I, I nickname the term squirt. Hmm. You know, these unhealthy squirts where you're talking to someone and the anger is going to come out. And it's going to come out in the wrong place, on the wrong people, at the wrong time, because that individual is not in touch with the emotions, not processing them properly. Like I'll give you a simple example just for anger. One of the greatest tools, people, I tell people, <clears throat> go into your bedroom, shut the door, bury your face in the pillow and scream away at the top of your lungs. Say every obscenity, every th negative thought you're having. But again, when you start, couch it and frame it with saying, you know, say out loud or silently out loud, silently to yourself that I recognize 
what I'm about to do is not the true me. I realize that in essence, I'm pure love. And at, the, at this moment, I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling very angry and I want to get this poison out of me. So then you've couched it, you're showing that it's not the truth of you, but you're also not denying that it's there. Mm -hmm. It's a parallel reality, it's mm -hmm. both. Mm -hmm. So then you put your face on the pillow and you scream away so no one can hear the words. It's important that no one can hear what you're saying because those people might be in the house you're screaming at. <laughs> so, but if they're just saying, you know, and you just go and go and go, and it actually, it acts like a poultice and it comes out of you. And your ego personality gets the satisfaction of having had your say, the poison energy comes out, and you do it till you're done, till there's nothing left. I used to do mine in the ocean, too, because I live near the beach. Oh. I'd walk up to my chest, face out to sea, take a handful of rocks, and I whipped them out at the ocean at whomever I was angry, feeling angry was, at. You were, you scream were and yell. taking out your frustrations. In a healthy way. In a healthy way. I wouldn't hit my children. I wouldn't swear at someone. I wouldn't strike a person. I wouldn't hit an animal. I wouldn't demolish trees and plants. But I go out in the ocean and give it to the sea, this great loving body of water. Which and I would, can hold it. She can, can take it. it. She yeah, loves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I would scream and scream and throw rocks and slap the water until I was at peace. And I would have so much peace come through my body.